Hi there everybody, Peter of England bringing you another video on the series of Escaping from the Trap, but a video that is more precisely targeted at the truth about the number 666. Because over the last three years, and for many years previous, people who have a um, godlike bent, or a biblical-like uh, bent, have looked at Revelations, I think it's 13, 18, and tried to fathom what the meaning in the, in the, the Revelation of John is concerning um, this number. Supposedly the mark of the beast, and that nobody will either be able to buy or sell without this mark. Uh, a prediction, therefore, of hundreds of years duration, uh, historically. Therefore, is there any significance in the aspect of people are saying that there is graphene in certain components that have recently been introduced into people, whether that's been introduced via uh, medication, whether it's been introduced through um, pills or tablets, or whether it's come from chemtrails, whether it's generally in the area, or whether it's been introduced in other ways, if you get more gist, then what we have is something of extreme relevance to most people. Now, um, if we look at the component, graphene, yeah, why people sometimes look at this, we've got uh, graphene is what's called a, uh, a carbon-12 isotope. That means it's got six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. So, there could quite well be some truth in the, um, the biblical reference to this, but also what we have, um, not so much, well, no, it is actually on the QR codes now, uh, because you've got your QR code, and your QR code set up like this, and you've got three references in the corners, which I do believe, if I am not incorrect, is a hangover from the old the, the old barcode system where you have got the initial, middle and ending of the barcode sequence as all of you out there know which is the three sixes. So what Apart from all of this additional stuff, whether it be in biochemistry, whether it be in, uh, um, whether it be in, uh, yeah, well, biochemistry, whether it be in the engineering areas, whether it's in the, the bioneural networks in, in the body, what are, is the real the significance of it? Well, the real significance of it is it's actually called a Templar axion seal and it's a seal placed on would you believe the DNA so this seal on manas or mana or man from harmonic universe one was actually placed on because it's a way of ensuring that man takes successive um, reincarnational cycles. It is, if I actually, we've got strand one, strand five, and strand six of the twelve of the twelve strands of human DNA, and so it is a sixth base tone, again a sixth and a sixth. So these tones, in effect, these base tones.
have been removed from the 12 strand functionality of the human DNA. They've been taken out of what's called a morphogenetic field and they became a trademark of members of what would be called the Syrian Anunnaki that refused to take uh, orders or a position of allegiance with what's called the, the Syrian Council in Harmonic Universe 2. So basically, Harmonic Universes run from 1 through 5 with three dimensions in each, giving a total of 15 dimensions in the, in the cycle. H, U, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there is a, a sequence of, of ascension. So this Templar Axion seal is the obsession of the ruling class on the planet because everything that came out of the, the electric wars, as they were called, with the Anunnaki some several millions of years ago, have been held in place by the aristocratic elite, the placeholders that the Anunnaki or the Niburians left to the Hiburians or the Hebrews. Um, and this is why, as far as astrology is concerned, as far as um, planetary movements, cycles, um, the standing stones and Templar priesthood uh, responsibility and the setting of calendars and times for harvests uh, and celebrations were always left to the hands of those who were seemingly genetically more competent to understand it and that is in great part because the chosen ones were the ones who were supposedly chosen by the Anunnaki to manage the estate while the owners left town. Why they've left town is for various reasons, but one of them is that there is a type of quarantine in place um, on the earth now. So these tones have been removed uh, and it puts in place the, the triangular obsession for these pyramidal, obsessed, hierarchical, patriarchal individuals who prefer ritual and um, uncertainty in everything they do and try to do and do not like the uh, because of a reptilian type brainstem that they operate off. And so this is the, the scenario that is synonymous with this, this idea here behind what is this 666 about and what does it mean for us? Now, the Bible will tell you or... Uh, tries to alliterate the fact that when Lucifer, the greatest angel in the heavens next to God, decided that he wanted to, um, should we say, place his throne above that of the Father or the Creator God, what he in fact did is he encouraged or persuaded one third of the angelic realm to go with him. One third of that angelic realm stayed behind and another one third of that angelic realm supposedly sat on the fence to see how things would work out. Now, as a representative idea of what that means, many of you might have seen uh, a particular symbol um, and this symbol is, is something called the flower of life. Many of you will have seen it on buildings. This is some of the work here of Leonardo da Vinci, who was, um, who, if you don't know, um, there's something called Leonardo's Man, and that's the representation of the man within the, the circle with his legs pointing, uh, or his feet, sorry, pointing in different directions. So that, in effect, is what you, you should end up with. And just to reiterate, that's the thing, that's the image with a circle with a center which represents God, yeah? Unity, just one thing in the center. 
Now, what you might be surprised at is that there is no coincidence these days that the preaching of diversity, the preaching of difference, is only causing an expansionist separation away from unity. So, always remember this. Every civilization that has got Gnostic or um, yogi or experienced individuals on a path of spiritual quest, they always refer to the same thing. You have to return home. You have to find God. You have to go back to source. So with all this transgender woke nonsense that everybody has got an opinion, and if I want to describe myself now as a 55-year-old Chinese woman, I can do that. And people have to acknowledge that and address me as something that only I have spinning around in my ludicrous head. Or if I want to describe myself as a moose, do they have to refer to me uh, and uh, treat me like? Yeah. So it's a, a complete crock of shit. It's a nonsense. It's there to befuddle and make people not aware or confident to do anything anymore. They don't know where up is. They don't know where down is, left or right. Because Lucifer, Lucifer himself and all his hordes are trying to turn the, the experiment, what was called the Lucifer Rebellion in Heaven, represented by the fall of man, down onto this plane in Harmonic Universe 2 in the third dimension, is where now in the realm of the dead, the people, the placeholders left behind by the Anunnaki and certain other uh, extraterrestrial groups uh, are finding rich and fertile ground in confusing people more and more and more. So what we're showing now is how actually the representation of the splitting of this egg of life materializes when it's a luciferic construction. And I'll try and get this as close as I can. It's where you could see the, the two eyes at the bottom. As you can see, there is no center anymore. Spirit is split into two. This is the concept of time and space and duality. Now, Lucifer, when he decided to do this, um, only did it as an experiment. The, the reference that he tried to set his throne up above God is primarily a distortion engineered by the Roman Catholic Church and other religious orders to put fear, the fear of God, not the love of God, into people's hearts. So nothing makes sense if the Lord or the God or the central creator is in any position to destroy at a whim all his creations. And everything comes out of mind, everything returns to mind, a thought can never leave the mind. So if God's first thought was to create his son, and I assure you that's what he, he, his first thought was, then it was a thought of loving kindness, not annihilation. Because as you think, so do you become, and that would have meant God attacking himself at first instance, at cause. And if that was the case, then I don't think there would have been anything left other than complete annihilation. So getting back to the significance of all of this, how do we see it portrayed in the United Kingdom? As a prime example, um, the, the judiciary, the legislative aspect, the civil service of the United Kingdom, the British Empire, um, passed all through the world, India in particular, the Commonwealth countries, as a, a jewel in the crown example of how a, a country should be run and a kingdom managed. So what do we have? We have in the United Kingdom Parliament, we have 650 squirming, jackal, traitorous, individuals in the Houses of Parliament that have got no other interest other than lining their own pockets. If people manage to get elected and they seem to grow a conscience all of a sudden, they're soon uh, made to realize that there is no future in it and the local party or the, the chief whip will uh, exercise a restriction on them and they will probably get deselected very, very quick. 
The game is to be played, and if you don't want to be in it, then you don't need to be in here on the estate. Okay? Now, on top of that then, we come to the Supreme Court. In the UK, and we have, we've got, uh, let's do this in a slightly better something big. We've got 12. We've got 12 Supreme Court judges. Okay. That's bringing us in now at 662. So we're four to make up. To get to this lovely number of 662. Six. Now what we have is we've got now we've got the speaker equals one more. We've then got someone called the city the city remembrancer, and we've got then the Queen's remembrancer. It used to be called, sorry, it used to be called the Queen's remembrancer, now because Charles is due to get um, coronated in May, but still not king, neither is Rishi Sunak prime minister, we've still got then someone called the King's remembrancer. Remembrancer. So what are these? So we've got now one blom blom and then what I'm going to show you now is just exactly who these characters are. These, this Masonic club, this Masonic club and the typical checkerboard, what we have here is someone called the Queen's Remembrancer. The Queen's Remembrancer has a counterpart, and that's called the City Remembrancer. The City Remembrancer sits behind this guy here, sits behind this chap here, the Speaker, and makes sure that no legislation passes through Westminster Parliament that is not in accord or satisfactory to the interests of the enclave and the uh, independency of the City of London. Okay? The King's Remembrancer does exactly the same in the City to make sure that one hand is washing the other and there is a, a functionality between the monarchy and the controlling interests of the City of London and then further afield, uh, a.k.a. the Holy Roman Empire, the Vatican, and those interests. So we've got one short, and the final assent to any legislation in the UK is by the king. And that brings us, very happily, I can't find my red pen anywhere, always hiding when you want them. So we've got now, we were here to our 662 number, we were four missing, and therefore we have the number 666, which cannot be any coincidence whatsoever, and for the people of the United Kingdom, and for the Commonwealth, and for the people then that get influenced by this as it stretches over to the United States, you have your controlling mechanism here, this function here of the, the pyramid, which comes from pyre, fire, fire in the middle of the pyramid. So the pyramidal 
tendencies and the representation of either three on each corner, six on each corner, or nine on each corner have a distinct significance. So I've mentioned in passing um, graphene. There is also a product out there, which many of you will know of, called luciferase. Uh, see if I can get that in here. Luciferase, which is a component that can be put in various liquids, which can give an identifying, uh, identifying recognizable color coding uh, when subjected to light. And what that is, it's certain um, nanoparticle-sized um, spheres that give off a different wavelength of reflection due to their size when illuminated. So the light bringer, luciferase, contained in either graphene or non-graphene. This is your QR code here with a significance on these, these corners. So this, this ritual, territorial, reptilian mentality is their Achilles heel. They don't like initiative, they don't like creativity, they don't like free thinking or individual thinking. That's why they want to do everything to you to close you down. They want you in locked communities and in the United Kingdom, as many of you people know watching this, they're thinking of introducing, in fact going ahead to do it now, these 15 to 20 minute communities. Um, people in Australia might not have heard of it, or Canada or the United States. So watch out, because this is due to come your way after they start implementing it, it looks like, towards the end of 2023 in the United Kingdom. They're already sealing off and sectioning cities so that you have to stay within a particular boundary, a, a sector within your city, and you cannot travel more than 20 minutes from it by either walking, by bicycling, or by any other means. And without going outside that region, you're allowed 100 trips per year per family. So if you want to go somewhere, then you go, that's one trip. If your wife wants to go, that's two trips. It doesn't count for the car. It doesn't matter if you've got five cars, you can't use five cars to get around it. So that's the way it's going. It's a similar type of scenario where they want you locked down, Chinese Communist Party, social credit score, goody goody people, taking universal credit, watching the TV, awaiting your orders, and being told, like in communist Russia before and in China, when the central party tells you where to go in order to earn your universal credit, that's where you report and that's where you work for the duration. And if you upset the local communist party boss, then woe betide you, you don't eat, you don't support your family, and you get maybe sent for re-education. Anyway, Hopefully, this 666, I'd like to try and marry up with the previous video, which I did for the benefit of, benefit of all my friends in the United States, with the 555, which then gives us 11s all over the place, which is another symbolic series of numerological things, like 11 Downing Street next to the... Um, Boris Johnson, as was, or Rishi Sunak, now in number 10. The Twin Towers, on and on it goes. Um, the armistice of the First World War, which was signed at 11 minutes past 11 on the 11th of November, um, 1918. Um, so uh, the numerological, astrological aspects that are pervading all the people who pretend to be looking after your best interests are nothing but a sham. They need getting rid of this 650 here. In, in previous times, I would have suggested other things to be uh, done to them. But if I have my way, I will be making an appearance. And just like the 20 minute towns that they're trying to set up through the United Kingdom, I will personally give them 20 minutes to leave the building 
otherwise they'll need to face the consequences. And that will all be done very peacefully and very honorably, but with the help of people just like you. Who, me? Yes, just like you. So if you like the video, do all the usual things, pass it around to whoever you think might find it of value. And the webinar um, that I've been referring to before will be coming soon. Um, I'm just trying to tighten it up. It should be on the 15th or around the 15th, but you have to keep watching this channel to find out when it's going to be. And that will set you free. Peter of England saying thank you for watching.